Hi guys, welcome to Reykjavik. It's a little bit windy, a little bit rainy. We are gonna visit the Reykjavik Zoo today, the Valley of Laugardalur over here. So we're gonna witness, uh, check out the Icelandic animals and I'll tell you a little bit of stories about them. So Laugardalur, so this is the Reykjavik Zoo over here or the family and animal park, domestic animal park. Some Icelandic birds over here. first land animal that we're gonna visit is the is the original the original land animal the only animal that was here when the settlers arrived here around 900 the Arctic Fox they are believed to have arrived like 10,000 years ago with icebergs to Iceland and that's the only original settler they lived on, on birds and trout and stuff fish from the rivers there are about two types here in Iceland. One is the, the white furred one that turns a little bit red brown in the summertime. And then this here, this is the main species in Iceland. They are about 70%. They are this red brownish. And here we have the minkies or a sleeping minky. That's on one of the animals that escaped here. People started farming these for, for the skin like in about 1870. Of course, when they arrived here about 1930s, some of them escaped captivity and they really liked Iceland. Now they are basically all over Iceland except some islands where they can't swim to. The reindeers, yeah, they're about 7,000 now to the east of Water Glacier, Vatnajökull. And about, they are hunted about 1,200 per year by, so there's a lottery, so hunters can win a lottery, so it's basically to cull the stock a little bit. Because the Icelandic winters are a bit hard for these creatures, strangely enough. Even though they live in places like Lapland, and it's a bit hard to get food here. Let's check out here, birds. We have some pigeons over here. Some of the animals that came here with the settlers, they have de developed uh, certain traits. So they are very hardy, usually a little bit small uh, compared to you know, their counterparts in Europe. They can survive the cold winter here. So these are the settler hens, or the settlement hens. They have thicker coats than most most hens, and uh, and they are not breeding as much as like the white hens that are used for like you know, to get our eggs. Some people like to have it like here in the city. They have a they have a small cabin or small house in the garden. Yeah, everybody seems to be in this mood today. <laughs> I'm not gonna stay outside very long, but I'm gonna show you these guys, of course. Yeah, they like the attention. Nobody has come <laughs> check them out probably today, so they are circling around me. Do you see them? They're following me around. I think they're hungry. Well, I'm not sure. Some people, uh, there are a lot of legends about these seals being like humans uh, under a spell, both here in the Faroe Island. Some people say it's related to people of ancient Egypt or people of the Faroe that were condemned after dealing with Christians. But there are also just stories that in the Faroe Island that they are people that drown to sea, they change into a seal. So it's frowned upon to kill them in the Faroe Island. And it's forbidden here also, uh, actually now. Hi there. Hi. Now that is a cow or a bull. <laughs> yeah. 
That's chicken. Yeah, it's a bull, of course. <laughs> So this is a where you hang up your or your snit or or your pacifier. Icelandic children or some of them, they hang up there. It's like a sign of that they are old enough, so they give the, their pacifier to the animals. Yeah, pigs were brought with them, with the, with the settlers also, but didn't survive here. And uh, they've basically ceased to exist here in the middle of the like the 14th century, 15th century, something like that. And but then they started growing them again about the 18th century here. And of course, the famous pig called Sairimir or the hawk called Sairimir. He is always uh, slaughtered in Valhalla, the feast hall of Odin. He is slaughtered there every day, and he basically fills the stomachs of all the Einherjar, the warriors that fall in battle, and are brought to Valhalla by the Valkyries. And uh, then he is resurrected every night. It's a small zoo, of course, uh, just with a couple of domestic animals. Uh, Stubby, yeah, there's there's a lot you don't know about Reykjavik. <laughs> Even though it's small, we have uh, there are only about 130,000 that live in, in Reykjavik. Uh, but in the Great Reykjavik area, it's about 210,000 people. So this is an original settler, the Icelandic horses. You're curious, I know. So the Icelandic horses have of course developed really hardy traits here living on in Iceland. They don't need much to survive. They can stay outside in horrible snow blizzards. They don't need much to, to be able to survive in, in Iceland. And they have of course developed certain traits that are not to be found in many horses. They have uh, five gates, so like a uh, pace and gallop and trot and, and walk and, and then a special gate called tust, which is like a very, like a four gates, very smooth run. And they have, they are really equipped to run through the Icelandic landscape, which is very, they're very sure footed. They are very friendly. And they are sold abroad, these animals, and they are horse competition, like World Cup of the Icelandic horse. And uh, they are sold from around 3,000 US to maybe 300,000 US, if there's a competition horse. Uh, you can't import any horse to Iceland. If a horse leaves Iceland, he can never come back. And of course, here we have the sheep, our most important food source through the centuries. We eat everything from the sheep. And, uh, and I mean everything, even that head. Yes, I know. Don't worry, I won't eat you now. And of course, our, our favorite like Sunday meal is like a leg of lamb. Now these sheep have of course also developed certain traits that are not to be found in many places. They have a inner layer and outer layer wool so, so they can be, they can survive really cold winds and temperature. Some people say that they have like a sixth sense so they know when bad weather is coming so they lead the flock to shelter. And there are more sheep in Iceland than people, actually. There are about 500,000 sheep in Iceland, just 360,000 people that live here. And here we have the Icelandic goats. 
similar like the others, they develop certain traits that are not to be found anywhere else. Very hardy, very sturdy. They were, became nearly extinct uh, on the middle of the 19th century. But now there are about 1,200 of the Icelandic goats. Mostly there are about, I think, 200 or 300 at a place called Hauafell Farm to the west of Iceland. They became really famous in Iceland when a dragon ate one, or in the world, when a dragon ate one in Game of Thrones. This is the field of the horses here. Then we have a little bit of a reptile and exotic animals here. So like I said, it's very popular for, for families too. So the snake is inside the skull over there. I'm not sure if you see it, but it's a red shape inside the skull. So guys, I think this is, this is just good enough for today. So I'm gonna grab a big cup of coffee.